Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing Far Cry 5 in the GTX 1650 Super. This is the Phoenix version by ASUS, so it's pretty much the worst cooler that you can get for the 1650 Super. It sometimes reaches like 75, 76 degrees Celsius. Moving on, I'm running a Ryzen 7 3700X with 16 gigs of RAM. You don't need these specs to run the 1650 Super without a CPU bottleneck. I think like a Ryzen 5 1600 overclock should do absolutely fine with this GPU at 1080p and we are going to be testing of course at 1080p resolution low medium high and ultra settings this time around i'm really curious to see how this game will look at ultra settings because the only gpu that i tested so far in far cry 5 was the 750ti and i only played on low and medium settings so wow look at that this is this is really really smooth let me tell you guys by the way because now i'm running the game with 165 hertz and we're getting like around 100 fps here on low settings and of course you don't need a hundred plus fps here in a game like this especially a single player title but wow let me just tell you this is amazing this is beautiful 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 i love this so the graphics here on low settings by the way look absolutely gorgeous even on low of course the textures don't look particularly good as you can probably tell by this three sometimes by the way but sometimes it actually looks okay or decent at least from a far distance so okay let's just move on start uh, doing here running around doing our benchmark and i'm just gonna try to do this little tutorial tutorial mission or whatever this is so yeah as we just did with the gtx 750 ti yesterday or earlier today i'm not sure when i'm gonna post these videos but yeah i really enjoy to kill people with the shovel by the way it's really satisfying the sound it makes just wow guys i am really impressed by the performance of this game i was really not expecting it to perform that great here in at least mid-range gpus or lower-end gpus but but yeah, let me tell you, I'm very, very impressed. This game is absolutely gorgeous and runs really, really well. So let's just go up here. Our FPS average are going to be a little bit increased because of this, probably. Okay, we're doing this. We are... Oh my gosh, this is insane. Look at this. Wow. So these guys are the family of Joseph. Joseph is that guy that uh, that's the main villain of the game. So come on, guys. I, I want to skip this. I really just want to benchmark the game. The Yes Men. This is the Yes Men. It's Brian for Tech Yes City. The fog is clearing up a little bit here. We can see a little bit better the stuffs around us. The FPS are still the same. So right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and select the medium settings here. We've seen that low settings runs absolutely fine with the 1650 Super. No problems whatsoever. So let's do normal settings or medium settings right now. And we, oh my gosh, it looks so much better. Okay, so there is zero fog right now. I don't know if it was the low settings preset or whatever, but okay, we can see much, much further ahead right now. Uh, we can see that statue much, much better right now. And this is just buzzing here, so we're just gonna move on and get out of here. Count our FPS, by the way. Wow, the game looks gorgeous here at 1080p medium settings, by the way, let me tell you. Of course, our FPS are much lower than low settings as we are in the woods. This is a very demanding area of the map, by the way, whenever you are in the woods. In virtually any game, the vegetation is a very, very performance hog and it's very, very intensive. So whenever you see uh, tons of uh, trees around you in a forest or stuff like that you'll bound to see uh, less FPS than the usual that's why I tend to test my games in the woods area whenever possible like in Rust Red Dead Redemption 2 this one as well and for example in Fortnite the Weeping Woods which is my favorite spot so what should I do here oh finally interact okay what the heck okay Oh my gosh, Re read? No, I don't want to read anything. All right, let's move on. So we got this bat, which is much, much better. Oh my gosh, look at those textures. They are much better than low settings, by the way. Uh, let me check out these. These are pretty much the same. So the trees textures are much better now, but some of the other textures are the same. We are only utilizing three gigabytes of VRAM, by the way. So that's not too much, but it, we are approaching, slowly approaching the four gigabyte frame buffer of the 1650 Super, which is 
uh, to be expected in newer games to be honest at 1080p in higher settings so yeah as long as they don't stutter and are well optimized we should be fine even when hitting that threshold so Alright guys, oh my gosh, look at these graphics, these look amazing guys. I, I know I've been telling you this multiple times, but the graphics in this game, I was really not expecting it to look so good, to be honest. Even on medium settings, look at this. We're on medium, we're getting really good FPS still. If you have a 60Hz monitor, you're absolutely fine. If you have a high refresh rate monitor, of course you're absolutely fine as well. Uh, it's gonna be feeling a little bit smoother than 60Hz as well, so that's good to see. I, for example, can definitely tell the difference between 60 hertz and 90 hertz or 80 hertz, which is whatever I'm getting right now, you know. Should we go, like, take a little bath here and go to the other side of the river? I'm gonna do that. I don't care about the car. Oh, come on. Can you go up? Can you go up? Oh, boy. I, I can't seem to... Uh, maybe like this? Nope. The guy isn't going up. I, I, I think I'm gonna drown. Oh, boy. Okay, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're in Faith's Seeds. What Faith Seeds region right now, as you could see. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, how did? How are you not dead? Oh God, are you kidding me? Stop swearing in my videos, please. Jesus Christ, this guy just doesn't shut up. Oh my gosh, this guy just doesn't shut up. I'm sick of hearing this, his voice, by the way. Please, can I make it go away? The guy, you know, at least the talking. It can still get the, the subtitles there, but... oh, What is this? Oh my gosh, that is a zombie or what? That guy's drugged? What the hell? Guys, guys, what the heck is this? This is a zombie. What the hell is this? Look at that. Wow! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? Are there zombies in this game now? This is fantastic! This is better than I expected! Okay! Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, oh my gosh. Stop. Stop sliding. Okay, we're good now. I'm gonna stop it right there. 90 FPS average on medium settings. And the game looks like this, so this is an amazing experience to be honest guys. 70 FPS, 1% low, so a very very smooth experience, definitely. And you can definitely use this GPU to play Far Cry 5 with. It will have no problems handling this game. And now, it's time for high settings. So this is the high settings preset, let's do this. We should now be seeing our VRAM getting a little bit more utilized. Yeah, the textures now are a bit better than medium. Let me find out these. Uh, these, these are still the same kind of. So we might need to enable the HD texture settings to make these look better. But of course, we only have 4 gigabytes of VRAM in this one. So I'm not going to enable that setting. Let's start counting our FPS. It's still pretty damn high here on high settings. So, wow, this is incredible. This this looks really good by the way again I'm I <laughs> I have said this multiple times in this video but I'm really impressed in how this game looks because I wasn't expecting it you know I haven't seen too many things about Far Cry 5 to be honest I wasn't really too interested in the story uh, so I ended up just overlooking this game but I'm really enjoying it I just played like 30 minutes of the main mission I wasn't expecting it to be that good and it actually pulls me into the game a little bit. I was really skeptical about the story, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna have a blast playing this game. I had a blast playing Far Cry 3. I played twice uh, that game. Oh, why? What the heck is that? Okay, it's not... Uh, he looked like a tiger for a second. <laughs> okay, can we get that guy with the bat? I'm gonna try it. Wait a second. We're approaching him slowly but surely. I hope that song isn't copyrighted. Otherwise, I'm pretty much screwed here with these videos. F, take down. Boom! I love love this. I just love this takedown animation. Hello. I was gonna die. Oh, yes. You start the cult's path as a human being, and you come out the other side of it what? one of those horrible things. Okay. Alright, just, just go away then. Are you gonna stand there? So long. Yeah. Uh, are you gonna pick this up and help me? Are you, he's just gonna stand there waiting for his death, I think. <laughs> what a stupid guy, to be honest. Alright, let's do this. I don't even care. Hello, how are you doing, people? How are you not dead with a headshot? Can I just break this? Please, grenades. No, uh, 
Do I have grenades? Oh, this is how you, you get a grenade. So, okay. It didn't... Oh my god, are you kidding? At least it broke the... Oh my... Sh oh, god damn it. Okay, okay. So we got a minimum FPS here. That's, that's good. Everything's on fire. That's not very good. I didn't want to do that. But yeah, I just ended up spending two grenades there. We got a little stutter there. Our first stutter of the entire... Uh, game playing right now because I haven't seen a single stutter here in Far Cry 5 yet. Alright, oh boy, you don't do this! Oh my god, why? Why do you- oh, no, I don't want to see that. What? What? Uh, who are you? Who, who the heck are you? Um, I can't talk to her. Did you know someone's trying to shoot a goddamn movie out here? I saw some- Stop swearing these guys god damn it. Okay, every time I approach this house by what the heck did I do? <laughs> what the heck is this? What the hell? What is this? <laughs> what am I playing right now? I, I want to get out of here, please back to campaign that reminded me of Far Cry 3's uh, Thingy from the future uh, Whatever it was called like the DLC, you know, so all right, let's just move along here a little bit longer Let's go. Let's go. You can do it Artyom. It's not Artyom. Whatever his name is Rook huh? Yeah, Rook is like uh, the new guy, so uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's, it's just a very, very wonderful experience with the 1650 Super. We are, by the way, reaching our VRAM limits right now, so keep that in mind. Uh, we're probably seeing a few stutters, maybe because of that, you know? Maybe, because we're only seeing that on high settings. Uh-oh, should we do this with the bat? I'm not sure. No, I'm not gonna do this with the bat. Come on. I got this. I got this. I got everybody. Hi, buddy. How are you Hi, doing? Sir. What the? What are you doing? Come over here, dude. Get out of there. Right, you know what, guys? That's it for these settings. High settings runs absolutely fine here. A couple of stutters here and there because of VRAM limitation, probably. So if you have like a RX 575, 88 gigs of VRAM, you should be fine. Or even like a GTX 1066 gigabyte. That should be similar to this one, to be honest. But I'm, of course, still going to be testing that one. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and do our last settings of the video, which is ultra settings. It's interesting because the VRAM slider here shows 2.69 gigabytes out of 3.86, but that's just not the case for some reason. Uh, it's actually using our full 4 gigabyte frame buffer, so interesting, interesting and weird. So, guys, 70 something FPS here. That's really impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, destroy that thing over there because I'm supposed to do that. Of course, those stutters, I really think those are caused by the lack of VRAM here in this one. Okay, let's destroy this. Alrighty, we got this. Look at all of these particles here. Wow, that's insanely detailed. Okay, let's just grab this. Look at that. Look at the beautiful graphics. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I lost a little bit of health there. Do I regenerate? Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay. Oh, let's grab that thing, actually. Where are you going? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. This is mine now. Bye. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Nobody spotted me somehow. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Don't run away from me. Try to stay out of the bliss. Okay, okay. Just gonna go away. Into the forest we go. We're seeing around 70 FPS. Sometimes it actually drops. Oh, it dropped from 60 right there to 59 or 58. So, eh. It's not too bad. You could still play like this without a single problem, I think. Of course, this is a single player game. So it isn't really needed for you to get 60 plus FPS all of the time. A few drops into the 50s is absolutely fine. In my opinion, at least. I played, for example, Far Cry 3 all the way through the game twice. And I played that with 30 FPS. So, yeah, at a GT 630M back in the days, you know? I didn't really have a good GPU or even a good PC. That's what I had, but I still had fun with it. Absolutely awesome game that was. And this one seems to be a really great game as well. Of course, I'm just starting it right now, but uh, it looks to be fun. 
What the? Whoa, 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 what the hell? Dude, are you kidding me? I wasn't expecting this coming from Far Cry 5, to be honest, okay? Zombies in Far Cry 5. All right, then. What are you? What are you doing there? Okay, then I don't care. I don't care. I'm just gonna go run here through the forest and finish the video. So thank you so much for watching. We're seeing our FPS in the 60s right now while running here. Of course, because of the foliage around us. That's really demanding, as I told you already. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Oh, boy. Okay, one shot, one kill. Yeah, don't forget to leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. And as always, I love you all. Bye-bye.